So for this week's video, I'm partnering up again with Axel Boy Off-Road. You guys might have seen them in the Chili Cook-Off video and in the Wheeling at Moonlight with Axel Boy video. And the Girl Garage Takeover was strictly female. So it was all females who want to wheel or females who have a Jeep or females that need to know more about wheeling. <coughs> Come take Girl Garage Takeover and learn. So Midwest Jeep Thing, who I'm also partnering with for this video, is hosting what is called Chicks and Sticks. Now we're going to Southern Missouri Off-Roading Ranch, which is one of my all-time favorite off-road parks. Brandon, who owns S'more, is what we call it, is just incredible. The park is incredible. The sh showers are incredible. You guys will see a lot of that, hopefully, this weekend. I'm going to show you everything. Um, this one's going to be a lot more of actually getting footage while I'm there. I promise. Anyway. I'm excited. We're giving all of the females the Jeep keys. And they're all going wheeling. So, you best believe your girl going to be wheeling. So, I'm going to make sure to get that on video. 7 a.m. Crash and I are on my way to work right now because we're leaving work early. So, we're going in a little early. I'm going to go in, put in my typical day's worth of work get everything all squared away and then I have to go home pack our bag pack Crash's bag take him to the dog sitter get everything ready in the Jeep truck and trailer and everything so I think we're all set for the most part all right guys I'm back it is 2 20 now I've actually been off work for a little bit in case you can't tell I've changed this is just so I don't forget my headband this is not how I'm wearing it I promise anyway I just had to drop the puppy off at the puppy sitters I packed my bag, set it all up by the door, got it all ready to go. The boyfriend is at home right now loading everything up to make sure it's all ready to go by the time I get back. On my way back home, just making a quick stop at Starbucks. Gotta get my cold brew for the day, so here we go. We are officially on vacation. No, I'm kidding. We're, uh, I guess the weekend has started now, so here we go. It's gonna be a good weekend. What's up guys? It is almost six o'clock. It is 5.48. We are still on the road. I think we hit the road officially right around three o'clock. So we've been driving for almost three hours now. Um, we're still not there. We stopped at Walmart real quick to get some food. I got turkey. That's food. Um, so there's that. I think we're actually getting a hotel room, so we're not going to tent camp this time. Which actually makes me feel a lot better, because I haven't tent camped in a long time. I don't know if I remember how to tent camp. So, it's hot. It's really hot here. I think it's 94 degrees. I'm melting. Literally melting. But, it should be fun. We're almost there. Then let the festivities begin. Alright guys, we just made it to S'more. It is 8.20 at night. We are getting ready to unload the Jeeps. Thank goodness we don't have to set up a tent because the sun is, for the most part, gone down. Like, there's still a little bit coming over the trees over here, but we are gonna unload the Jeeps right now, and then we're gonna go check around, say hi to everyone. We just checked in, got my wristband for Chicks and Sticks this weekend, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the park.
person. So, here we go. Drivers meeting notes. This is a fresh up now that we're getting ready to hit the trail. Uh, first thing is everybody air down and disconnect it. Yes. Perfect. Um, you want to keep the person in front of you and behind you in, in sight. So if you don't see them, honk your horn so that the person in front of you knows to slow down. Um, we're going to have some obstacles today. We've heard some of the trails are a little bit more washed out than usual. So if you need a spotter, don't be shy. Um, however, one spotter only. Um, we have a three try rule. If you can't make it in three tries, we'll winch you up or um, we'll take the bypass. Um, and for steep inclines and declines, let the vehicle clear ahead of you before proceeding. That way if the brakes give out or they slide down, we don't want any accidents happening. No alcohol on the trail. Hopefully you guys know that. No <laughs> drinking. <laughs> hard and fast rule for the club and for s'more. Um, avoid walking between the vehicles. Once again, we're taking the pictures. You know, these Jeeps lifted, their emergency brakes don't work too well. So use extreme caution. And if you see, if you're gonna walk between a Jeep, make sure you make eye contact with the driver so they see what your intention is. Anything else? And have fun. It's supposed to be fun. All right. All right, let's go. I'm driving this Jeep today. I'm driving this Jeep today. Let's hope all four wheels stay on the ground. I'm ready to take the top down. Got my camera here now. Made it into the first trail. We are in Appaloosa at the moment. And we actually followed another group down here. So we're gonna let them get ahead and then get off this trail. So
We just had lunch, and I've had like 35 bags of Doritos. Ate all the Doritos. Now I'm moving on to Cheetos. I think I had two sandwiches too. I'm tired. Now that I have food in my belly, I'm ready to just take a nap. Wake me up when we get to the bottom of the hill. I really always take the lot out. Luckily, the sun isn't too bright. It's not like it's scorching. It's 111 right now. Oh. It's been a pretty fun day overall. Done some pretty cool stuff. Went over some pretty awesome obstacles. Doing pretty well handling the Jeep. Haven't broke anything, so. Rockenocker right now. Had to put on the rain gear. It is raining outside. I feel like lately, no matter what I do, it rains, but this is some serious rain. So as if the trails weren't as if the trails weren't interesting enough today, let's knock it up a notch.
doing the bench work too. Because after he's worked all day, Oh, that's perfect. So, <laughs> that's hard work. Okay, so I just took a shower after getting rained on. We pulled the Jeep in, went and had dinner like you saw, and I went and took a shower. So, hence the towel. Here's my pillow. We're all loaded up. We're getting ready to go home. It is 8:10. Realize the trailer lights aren't working. So Justin and Doc have been back behind us trying to get the trailer lights working so we can head home and hit the road. It has been a long, crazy, really fun day. I'm really glad I got to come out wheeling. Thanks Midwest Jeep thing. Thank you Axel Boy for inviting me. So it was a lot of fun. It was called Chicks in the Sticks. If you look up Midwest Jeep thing on Facebook, all their information will also be listed down below. They'll have all the kinds of events like this. Um, lately, I know Axle Boy's really been reaching out, which is why you saw my Axle Girl shirt that I was wheeling in, trying to make it a lot more female friendly event. So that's really awesome. Also, make sure you go check out Southern Missouri Off-Roading Ranch. It's S'more. You can look up s'more.net. That is where you can find everything. You can also look them up on Facebook. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you can get notified every time I upload a video since I do it completely randomly whenever I feel like it. And if you did enjoy this video, let me know. Let me know to make more like this. I enjoy any time we get to take the Jeep out, so it'd be awesome to make more videos if you guys like it. So, let me know. Thanks for coming. And if you guys want to see another one of my videos, Stay here, check it out. I'll put another one up here and you should see my head pop up down here to see all of the videos I have to offer at the moment. Thanks guys for coming.